I'm using WebKit Nightlies here because that's the only browser that supports this particular combination of CSS features. So we're looking at CSS Grid Layout and CSS Regions. So what I've got here is I've got a wrapper and inside this I've got an article with a class of content. And below that I've got this div with a class of grid and here I've got a bunch of uh, div, some of them are empty with a class of text and others have got an image in. So the article is this block here and the grid is here and you can see that the images are already laid out on the grid leaving some gaps and the images are laid out here we've got um, classes and I'm naming the images here and we're laying those out with grid template areas and this ASCII art syntax of grid layout. Uh, because this is in WebKit Nightlies, I'm also using the WebKit prefix as well as the standard properties. So what I want to do is to achieve something that I keep being asked about on Twitter. I want to use grid layout but I want to be able to flow some text through the areas on the grid rather than having to sort of position explicitly chunks of text. Now the thing with grid layout is that things only become a grid item if they are a direct child of the element that has grid declared on it. So what I could do is declare a grid on the article and then either position my items in the various places on the grid or use the grid auto placement properties to auto flow each paragraph one into each uh, grid cell that was available. However that doesn't quite get the effect that we want. What we really want is the text to go down until it hits the bottom of that row because we've defined a height on the row and then go into the next available cell and that isn't something that grid layout can do for us. But the region spec allows you to do this and this is what we do. So the article has a class of content and I'm going to say flow into article and that's just a name I've given it and I'm going to need to use the WebKit property as well. At which point um, our content appears to disappear, it's just gone and that's because we've sort of it's flowed into this article thread and so we now can't see it until we flow it out to somewhere else and we're going to put that into these empty elements that have got a class of text and I've already positioned those using grid layout so we then say flow from article and the same with WebKit And our text appears and it's now flowing into those boxes. So it's starting here. This one doesn't have a class of text, so it doesn't go into here. It goes down here, it goes here, and the remainder ends up down here. And if we look at our grid layout, you can see that we've got three columns and then we've got two rows with a height of 20m and then a final row of auto, which will take the rest of the text. I did actually have to set the height also on these uh, containers that have content in them. Um, that didn't seem to be working. I'm not quite sure if that's just an, a, a bug or, or some other problem, but that's not working. It, it didn't respect the height. So that's a little example of how you could use grid layout and regions uh, to create this kind of layout. And that's something that I've been asked quite a lot by people, you know, how you would do that. Unfortunately, regions isn't really being implemented anywhere else. So if that's something that interests you, then perhaps that's something to start talking about, whether we can get regions back.